Hi everyone, we are playing Destiny 2. Uh, you may or may not have just seen, I also have another high level character, but Steve's all like, I don't want to do stuff on your big guy, I want you to play on your small guy, because wow. I have an inferiority complex. That sounds really homosexual. Uh, well, you said it, not me. It's true. Yay, Destiny! Yay, it's actually here, and it's a week later, and the Leviathan Raid is already out. And beat. Yeah, actually, you know what? I kind of want to show out the Leviathan Raid, Toast but I kind of do, don't. Do you want to see the Leviathan Raid? Sure. All right, fuck it. We're going to go do the Leviathan Raid then. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and switch gears real fast, everybody. So forgive us. Well, don't forgive us. Just deal with it. So which character have you been playing the most? Uh, my Titan, because I had to teach my friend what was up. Okay. She's all like, ah, I'm so good. I'm all like the best hunter ever. And I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna teach you what's up. She's like, oh yeah, you're gonna play a hunter and let me school you? I was like, no, I'm gonna play a titan. I'm gonna teach you what's up. Not only am I gonna do you better than you do you, I'm also gonna do it on a different class. Mm, 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 yeah, mm, yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, mm, yeah, mm, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Okay. She's not happy right now. She's already asking for a divorce. So. Wow. Yep. Maybe you should have let her get more of the kills. Mm, no, I don't think that's how it works. I think it is. I don't think so. How long did it take you to hit, uh, was it level 20's max, right? Yeah, level 20. It took me about three days. Okay. That's not uh, bad. But that's like three days of playing after work, so it wasn't like, like, actually, like, I could have done it in a day. Okay. Like, I'm pretty sure I could have done it in a day. But here's the Leviathan. Uh, what they're. What is this? They're not yet in. So that's the guided game beta. What's Guided Game? Guided Game is where you join in and it shows you like, here are the clans that are playing right now. Do you want to try and join one of them? Oh, right. Like yeah. Like this sort of built-in looking for groups. Yeah, but their, their LFG is in like a beta right now. And Interesting. it's kind of funky butts about it. Probably most because they haven't had something like that before. Yeah, that's that's actually exactly what it is. And so they're kind of like working out the, the kinks in it and right um i haven't tried it yet even though i probably should okay. but here's the raid Ooh, it's all freaking gold and i'm not sure what the hell that is like those two suns floating above this like i'm not sure if that's our sun or if that's the sun that's on here there's a sun on there yeah, I'm not sure if that's the sun that's on here or not. Okay. Wow, this place is immaculate. Oh, it is. Shiny beyond belief. It is, it is wonderful. It is golden. It is, it is great. And these guys don't like me. Well, I mean, they also don't... They don't necessarily hate you. No, they do. They're not attacking you. That's because they're under orders not to. Right. So the lore behind this is is that uh, the guy who runs this ship, um, not Dominus Gaul, but he's the he, yeah. he's the former emperor of the Cabal, uh, right. was exiled. He could not be killed even though Gaul usurped him. Uh, so they exiled him on this badass ship. Uh, this is a secret, by the way. Okay. So there's these switches that you have to pull. But you need a full team of six because you have to time them right. Right. And oh, if you okay. fail, if you mess it up in the order. So, like, this is supposed to be one. Then this one is two. Followed up by three. How, then... do, you, how do you tell? So, yeah. the way you can tell is these things. So, this one has zero. So, okay. it's the first one. And then I'm, I'm logically going off of the height. So then this is number two. Then that's three because it's in the next spot. And then four is over here, bottom. Okay. And then if we were to look at it. Then that one. That one is five. Okay. And then that one. And then the other okay. way you can tell the order is because if you pull this lever, it goes down. And then if you pull this order as well, it also would go down. But since... Mm. I'm not part of it. I don't have a team to do this. Yeah, see? These ones fail to pull down. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. 
So that's one secret. That's neat. Do you know what the secret gives? Uh, it opens up a door in, okay. in the other areas. So here's a cool thing that I think is a thing. I think there is something behind this. Okay. Now, the reason I think that is is because that wall... Um, let's get to somewhere where I can get a good view on this. That wall ends right there. Right. But there's all that extra space right here. Yeah. yeah so okay. it kind of makes me suspicious of it, like... There should be something there kind of deal, you know? Gotcha, yeah. It's kind of cool that they have all these, like... Uh, like, cool hidden Hi, secrets. Buddy. Yeah. Uh, so, I believe that, that pulling those things opens this door. Uh, I could be wrong. Okay. But uh, that is my that is my belief. Unless, of course, if I'm wrong, it might be... No, okay. So, that's one thing. Uh, the second one is off to the far left over here. So, obviously, me, you, Jen, Jamie, Fish, whoever else we get into the group... Right. ...is going to do this when it's on PC. But here's another secret. There's another group of switches. Oh. These More. ones... More switches. You have to pull simultaneously. Okay. So, we have one here at the beginning... Two, three, four is back behind that, five is up here, mm -hmm. and six is right here. Okay. So you have six for six party members, all of them pull them at the same time, something happens. Gotcha. Uh, believe it opens up another door. Sweet. Okay. Uh, next, we will point out the buttons. So... You basically just, when you join into this raid, you run all the way up to the top, and that's where you start off the raid. Okay. Yep. All right. So, here's a button. So, there's one. Uh, there's supposed to be six, but for whatever reason, I can't find all six of them. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if it's because I'm an idiot or if I'm supposed to flip those switches and then it unlocks, like, one of the two of the buttons. Gotcha. Like they're hidden or something like that, you know? But, uh, so that's one. But remember, there's two. Three is on this opposite side. Three. And four is... Ooh, I think I ate something bad. Uh-oh. My salad's, uh, cutting right through me right now. Ooh, that's the worst. Yeah. And... Where are you, number four? There's number four. Okay. Uh, so there are two buttons that I can't find. Um, I may have to look on a guide or something to figure it out. Right. Because I'm sure there are a bunch of people who have already found this out. Probably. But now here's something that I recently saw that kind of leaves me suspect to people having missed a secret. So let's just move this way. So that one's not lit. That one's not lit. That one's not lit. That one's not lit. So that's four. And then... We have to just move all the way over here now. Come on. Oh. Uh, once you press all those buttons, this crystal right here will illuminate with a symbol. And it'll be like... Sword, cup, dogs, and sun. Okay. So it has four different symbols. And... Uh, they light up when you push those buttons down and you're supposed to push them a bunch of times to get them to cycle through the different ones Okay, and then once they do cycle you get a very specific uh, uh, Thing gotcha. Yeah, and there's two more down yep. there that and that's five and six now. Yeah, there's that a seems really suspicious There's a seventh one that's unlit. Oh, okay, but the problem is uh -huh. it is knocked over and there's no dust inside of it. See, the dust got all poured out. So I think if you press all those down, something will happen with this one. If you can light the fires mm -hmm. inside of them or something. I don't know. But um, the first set of switches opens one. 
the second set of switches opens this, I believe. Okay. And then those um, buttons that you press opens up the door that's in front of it. Gotcha. In front of the crystal. All right, so those are these launch cannons. So you can run up there and then go oh, okay, here, cool. and it'll just take you past everything. Whee! Oh god! Oh god! Now. Oh, that was exciting. Hey guys. If you shoot one of those guys, they start attacking you. Yeah, they do. Sweet. Okay. They 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 are vicious too because I am not the proper level for this. Yeah. Also, you're alone. Yeah. Also, I'm alone. You're not. You're not the equivalent of six people. I mean, do these raids scale? Like, uh, no. So if you came back here, like let's say with Destiny five people, two, or no, let's just say Destiny Two's been out for five years. Like this one has like super longevity and uh -huh. they keep releasing like expensive. And God, like wow. my my power level is like that of what over nine thousand. Over nine thousand. Uh, so, in theory, you could come back oh, here that? and do this by yourself, but also, enemies kind of scale with you. Okay. So, the enemies will uh, take less, less damage if you're higher level than them. Oh, man, I got a hit. Oh. Uh, yeah, they'll take less damage if you're above them. Oh, okay. Or if you're better geared. And that's to prevent, you know, like, people... So, you can't just come in here and just, like blast your way through yeah because one of the reasons why they do that is since every fight that you do gives you a chance at an exotic right well, they don't want you motherfucker over there. so there's this this is the standard bearer this is a flag okay that you have to take back to <laughs> here so as you can see the symbol for the sun is illuminated right and right now I am standing at the cups the cups so I need to go and find the sun. Okay. There are the doggos. And the sun shines somewhere. Does it shine over that way? I forget. Oh, and the doggos is another thing too, because there's a fight here where it takes you to the doggos. Hmm. And you have to get inside there. Okay. And that fight is super interesting to watch. Yeah, I was actually watching a another video. Uh-huh. On oh, there's the swords. There's the swords, the axes. They look like axes. It's the axes, swords. They're they choppy bits. All right. Uh, yeah, I was watching a video of uh of a team fighting the emperor. Oh it's man, a crazy fight. It is. It's a crazy fight, and it's super cool. Yeah. Like the level of coordination that goes into it is really fun. Yeah, it looked a little frustrating that like you mess up just a little bit, and like the whole team. Is. Yep. That is uh, one of the biggest issues with a lot of the raids in Old Destiny. Yeah. Was it was a whole bunch of coordination that one guy can mess up. Right. Yeah. So here's a question. Yeah. Right. So this raid is out, and people have now finished. Some people have finished it. Like right. Like with WoW, you get like the yeah. Of gold first, whatever. Yeah. Um. So, and, and people are saying like, oh, I've seen people have finished Destiny, they've like played through the storyline and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, Destiny 1 had additional content from it. Was it actually DLCs or was it, um, or was it just like new stuff that we were going to get? Um, so for Destiny, the new stuff would come out as DLCs. It wasn't like patches like in WoW. Like, wow, um, you remember when Zul'jin was a thing? Right. Uh, and he was just a patch. Right. Yeah, that was that, w that was that. But this doesn't do that. So I come here, I activate this. Uh, the allegiance start invading, and then the doggo symbol is now eliminated. If I go to where the doggo is, you... Yeah, it's okay. I'm by myself, it doesn't matter. So if I go here, there should be... A group of dudes here, and one of them will be called the Standard Bearer. Oh, hello. The Standard Bearer is the guy I need to kill. Because once I kill him, his standard has no bearer, and therefore I can take it. Okay. So, we can just do this solo, actually. Um, now, I know that they release, like, new raids and new uh, strikes and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Do they ever, do they actually ever release, like, new, like, player content like uh mission or like uh spray missions and stuff like that uh no they, they didn't do that like as non-dlc stuff 
but due to the fact that this is like their big thing where they have like the most control they've had since the, the right. creation of Destiny, um, there's a there's a theory, and not really a theory, I guess it's just me more or less spouting bullshit right now, where uh, because they actually built an entire engine for this game and they built the to- they rebuilt their tools, mm-hmm. uh, they'll have the ability to actually do that, okay. like create patched stuff where they're like, hey, this is patch 3.5, and in it we're going to create ourselves a Vex Raid, so go have fun, everybody. So now the standard bearer's out, and I'm going to go ahead and fuck the day out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, up. This game is not too easy getting the fucking doors, I'll be honest with you. Uh, that's true, but I guess I can do this. What's that? This is the Ward Clip Coil. It is... Oh... Uh, it is like a Holy bunch shit. of tiny missiles that fuck them in the face. Alright. And what they do is they lock onto the closest target and they just smash into it as hard as they can. Oh, killed you. Yeah, well, we just need to do with them a little bit more damage and then we can show what happens. Bared your standard? Uh, he did. He did. He was the, uh, the standard to what I hoped oh. one day become. Oh, they are just literally crapping all over me. Yeah. That was a lot of them. A little bit. Recommended power, 270. Uh, Thanks, game. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Have you picked up any exotics yet in your characters? Uh, This is what I'm currently using. Is is, is an exotic? Yep. Okay. I have gotten so many exotics right now. It is silly. I love it. So it seems like what they did over at Bungie is they upped the exotic drop rate. Yeah. Which feels good. I saw this uh, web comic that I found was kind of hilarious. I think I sent it to you. Uh huh. But maybe I didn't. And now it's not invisible. Do you get to hit people with it? No, unfortunately oh. you don't. Not with the standard because it's just a, just a flag. But if you look at my boots, you see how they're all like glowy and stuff as yeah. they're flying? That's because they are also an exotic. Oh, cool. Which increases my jump speed. Nice. So, you drop that down, you get three of them on there, or four of them actually. Okay. And then it will unlock the sunroom, which yeah. is the spawning pools, or the bathing pools. Okay. But yeah, that is essentially the raid right there. Yeah. You do the four rooms, so you do the that then you go there then you go over there and then it unlocks the tower right which you go and fight you know yeah. this fatty yeah yeah so awesome stuff there's also another um secret that's hidden in here that i really want to get to but the problem is i need like a full team to get there and then i need a full team to do it with me Soon, Tom. Soon. Soon, yes. That is one of the hardest things about this right now is I don't have an actual fire team on the PlayStation. I had one on the Xbox, but uh, my friend, she's all like, oh, you need to come play on the PlayStation because it's so much better. And I'm like, no, no, you're wrong. But you're just going to swap the PC anyways. Yeah, of course I am. But if, but until then, I need, to, I need my meth. I need to take my crack, Steve. I need my drugs. Don't you understand how it works? I do not. Well, that's because you haven't played a game as good as this before. It's possible. It I'm excited for it. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. The The raid looks awesome. The raid is fun. Uh, there's actually like several different secrets that that first little place has that you can do without even fighting a boss in the beginning. Right, yeah. So, like, after you pull the switches, it opens up an area which allows you to go underneath into, like... The, the belly works of the spaceship, mm-hmm. the Leviathan. And when you're in that area, there are these little things called watchers. And they're like little security drones that like scan for enemies. And you kill them in their order, Alpha, Beta, Delta, Gamma, or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. And if you kill them in their order without them spawning you, they, it'll say something like, uh, watcher uh, protocol has been disabled. And it'll open up a door that allows you to get a, a special chest that okay. has fat loot inside of it with a chance of an exotic. Nice. Yeah. So, awesome stuff. Um, How's the open world? Open world is awesome. And we'll see that in the next episode. All right. 
Bye, everyone.